You're watching Terrier Vision. Inside Wofford Football with Coach Mike Ayers and the voice of the Terriers, Mark Hauser. Welcome into E.J. Whitmire Stadium here in Cullowee, North Carolina. A picture-perfect Saturday as the Wofford Terriers look for a second straight victory as they take on the Western Carolina Catamounts. Wofford coming off a 20-point win over Elon a week ago, scoring a season-high 48 points, sits at 4-1 and one in Southern Conference play, half a game behind division-leading Georgia Southern. The Terriers also are ranked ninth in the country with a record of 6-2 and two overall. It's been a difficult year for Western Carolina. The Cats winless in SoCon play at 0-6. They are 1-7 overall. Here are your highlights. Brandeis this year has completed 49% of his throws. He's starting for Brandon Peckloff, who lost the starting job a couple of weeks ago. Play action out of the gun, under fire, backside pressure, and a Met Paul's going to sack him on first down at the 33. Western Carolina, three linemen down. Terriers out of the gun with two backs. Play action, Allen on third and 11. Rolls to the near side, throws. Caught by Burson at the 50. He'll be bumped out of bounds right at the midfield stripe here at the near sideline by Martinez. Second down, a long four from the 44 and a half. Two receivers left, one right. Inman in motion to the right. Allen out of the gun with two backs. Fakes the dive. Pitches far corner. Donovan Johnson with room to the 40. Far sideline, 30. Up the number, he's go to the 20, he'll be slung down at the 19. 25 for Donovan Johnson. Ninth play of the drive for the Terriers. Second down and eight from the Cats, 17. Wide outs either side, Inman in motion to the right from the tight end spot. Two backs alongside the quarterback, handoff Breitenstein, slanting right behind his guard. We'll get it to the 15, to the 10, and finally bowled over about the nine by Brandon Vaught. Breitenstein, the lone back. Offset to the left behind Allen out of the gun. Fake of the dive, pitch far corner, cut block for Donovan Johnson. He'll make his way to the five and he'll be stacked up and driven backwards about the two. Catamounts with three down linemen, now four in a three point stance. Wide outs either side, Johnson in motion near side, handoff Breitenstein, bulls his way into the pile, touchdown Terriers. Wofford up 7-0 on a Breitenstein touchdown run as we move late into the first quarter. Out of the gun, Brandeis. Hand off again, Vaughn. Again over the left side, and again he almost got nothing. Tarek Odom stopped him. Brandeis out of the gun with a single back flanking him to his right. Wofford three down linemen. They're going to rush for Brandeis rolling right under fire. He'll throw intercepted at the far side and returned by Blake Wiley to the 40. Wiley near hash to the 50. Tackled by the ankles at the Catamount 48. Second interception in two weeks for Blake Wiley. A fine return. Second and 10 from the cap 48. Two receivers left. One to the right. That's the short side of the field. Western Carolina shifting their defense around. Four down linemen. Allen out of the gun. Hand off. Big hole up the middle. Breitenstein 40. Breitenstein 35 to the 30. Slung down there. Wing to the right. Burson wide to the right. Man in motion near side. Donovan Johnson again. Breitenstein a hole up the middle on the handoff. 25-20. Slants right to the 18. 2.20 to play. First quarter. Wofford up 7-0 and driving. First and 10 at the cat. 18. Now it's a wing bone set. In motion left. Yeoman. He'll get the toss. Gets a block out on the corner from no hurdles a tackler at the 15, makes his way to the 10, and booms his way down to the six-yard line before Clark, again the strong safety, keeps him out of the end zone. Wingbone with Breitenstein, your fullback, wide outs either side, no second motion near side, Allen runs the option left, toss on the corner, Brian Yeoman, touchdown! One minute and four seconds remaining in the first quarter. We're at Whitmire Stadium in Cullowee. Wofford 14, Western Carolina nothing. First and 10, Terriers start this drive from just inside their six. Man in motion near side is Donovan Johnson. Mitch Allen fakes the dive. He's going to run option left and has good yards. Out across the 10 to the 15, Jersey tackled with one arm at the 20-yard line. Two receivers come to the left, one goes to the right. Allen from the gun, two backs... Flank behind him. 
And he fakes the dive, pitch far corner. Breitenstein has room to the 30, cuts it back inside, 35-40. Breitenstein to the 45, pushes the pile ahead to the 49. Leading it 14 to nothing, 10 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Two backs alongside Allen out of the gun. Inman shuffles in motion right. Donovan Johnson, handoff right side, breaks two tackles, 40. Slants left at the 30, he's to the 20. One man with an angle, he'll beat him to the 10, to the 5, and that is a touchdown. Donovan Johnson goes 45 yards. Two receivers right, one goes to the left. It's green, out of the gun, Brindice. And he fakes the dive, gonna roll right, wants to throw, but CNO grabs him and spins him down at the 20 yard line. A sack for Alvin CNO coming off the edge at linebacker. The Louisiana native has his eighth sack of the year. Two receivers right, one to the left for the Terriers. Burson comes to the near side. And he is the single receiver to the left. Allen again, two backs alongside him, out of the gun. Mitch will take the snap from Joey Reddy, handoff right up the middle, and Breitenstein, boom, bang, boom. <laughs> Bounces off two tacklers to the 45 and is finally wrestled down at the 47. It's just over five minutes to play second quarter, second and three from the 47. In the Wofford end of the field, out of the wing bone, counter give to the right, first down run, Brad, no sec to the 50, right up the middle to the Catamount, 47 and a half. First down at the Catamount, 48. Two receivers right, one to the left again. No tight ends, two backs flanking Allen out of the gun. Western with four down linemen on defense. Fake of the dive, and Allen has a slot to the left. He's to the 40, slants inside 30. Mitch Allen to the 20, dragged down by his jersey at the Catamount 15-yard line. First and 10, Terriers at the 15. Wide outs either side, a wing to the left. Two backs, Allen handoff. Donovan Johnson slants left, back to his right. Takes it to the five, bulls his way to the two. Two falls into the end zone, touchdown Terriers. A great hard run by Donovan Johnson. Looked like he was going to be stopped short, but he fought his way in there. Donovan Johnson with a 15-yard touchdown run, his second score of the day. 2.58 to work with late here in the second quarter. All three timeouts if they want him. First down and 10 at their 28. Double deuce out of the gun. Allen fakes the dive, has a seam carrying over left side, 30 to the 40. He'll be hip checked down at the 49. Wide left, Burson, slot left, Simmons. One receiver goes to the right. On third and three, out of the gun, Allen. Toss far corner, Donovan Johnson will make the first down as he's ridden out of bounds into the Catamount bench at the 19. Second and seven from the 15. Again out of the gun with two backs, wide outs either side for Mitch. He'll take the snap from Reddy, fakes the dive, runs the option to the far side, has a seam to the 10, to the 5, and he'll take it in for a score. Touchdown, Mitch Allen. Nice decision by Mitch to uh, keep that ball. Got a great block on the corner. Another Terrier touchdown. Wofford will start the second half, first down going out of the wing bone. In motion right, no sec from a halfback spot. Flat pass, Burson gets Maya Mann at the 35, makes the 40. Finally tackled at the Catamount 43 and a half yard line. So 15 yards on the flat pass. Second and 12, Terriers now from their 42 yard line. Wing bone again, no sec in motion far side. Toss near side, Burson has it at the 45 to the 50 and he'll be slung down violently by the corner, Okadweary. Out of the gun now with two receivers left, one to the right. It's Ashley. Two backs alongside Mitch Allen. And it's a handoff up the middle, Breitenstein. Jump cut back to his left to the 35 to the 30. He is wrestled down at the Catamount 26. 14 more for Breitenstein. The two receivers left, burst into the outside. This time the Terriers out of the pistol. In motion to the right goes Ashley. And it's a fake of the dive. Toss on the corner, Ashley. Has it at the 15, takes it to the 10. He's to the five. He'll be chucked out of bounds near sideline at the one yard line. Fourth and goal from the one and a half. Again, the wing bone. Wide left, Burson. Ashley goes wide to the right. Western stacking the line on defense. Toss near corner. Yeoman gets a block from no second. He's in. Touchdown, Terriers. Good decision. Nice job by Yeoman to turn the corner. He's in for his second touchdown of the day. First and 10 from the 27-yard line. Play action for Brandeis in the pocket. Pocket breaks down, and he'll be wrestled down for a sack at the 23. 
Terriers brought five that time, and the first man there was Zach Bob. Two receivers left, one goes to the right, single back alongside the quarterback, man in motion near side, and they're going to run the reverse to the near side to Richardson. He gets by one man in the backfield, but Alvin Ciano is going to drag him down at the 31 for a three-yard loss. Third and six catamounts at the Terrier 31. Twins left a single man right, Brandeis from the gun, under fire, he'll be sacked by Alex Goldtree. He is slung to the turf at the 36-yard line. It is fourth down and 11. And the Terriers are winners this afternoon here in Cullowee. Your final score here from E.J. Whitmire Stadium in Cullowee, North Carolina. The Wofford College Terriers, 42. And the Western Carolina University Catamounts, 24. Coach, a good first half. You got what you needed up here. Talk yeah. about the first half and what you were able to do. Well, the first half we executed extremely well. I, I thought that uh, offensively, the, the guys in the box did a great job. We had a plan coming in. Uh, we were not sure what they were going to do defensively, quite frankly, because they, they had uh, had a change coaching position right, right at the beginning of the week. Uh, we did a nice job of adjusting. I, I thought Mitch uh, did a great job with uh, Ball handling for the most part, uh, we, we ran for 350 yards, I think. Uh, did a nice job of uh, check and checkmate type deal as far as uh, they, they lined up a certain way. We, we tried to, uh, to go the other way and, and just have something as far as a run scheme in our advantage. Uh, I thought our backs ran extremely hard. Um, we, we're a football team that's mighty thin. and. Uh, a, a lot of guys are going a lot longer than, than they used to, but uh, that's good. Uh, that's going to make them better uh, down this stretch run. Uh, you, you look at us defensively, uh, we, I think we had a lot of uh, big plays as far as sacks. Uh, had a big intercept, which, which uh, kind of allowed us to double up on a score. Uh, kicking game-wise, we, we did well. Uh, we. Uh, we're a team that uh, has two more games to go. Uh, the next one is uh, is huge. Matter of fact, the next two are huge because they're both conference games. Uh, we have got to somehow get well. We, we've got to get uh, get some guys off of the uh, the injured reserve and, and get them back in there because we're uh, we're we're a thin team and. Uh, Hopefully, uh, good Lord willing, we'll, we'll get some guys off the, the injury list and, uh, and get them back into the lineup. Jared Singleton, your starting center, didn't even make the trip right. due to a stomach ailment. Uh, right. Yet Joey Reddy make his first college start. Any impression how he did without watching the film? Well, uh, all I can say is we had 350 yards while he was in there, so I, I think he did pretty well. Uh, Jared, uh, excellent football player for us, big, strong, physical guy. Uh, for whatever reason, caught this bug in uh, some type of virus. Temperature was way up, and, and uh, his temperature finally started dropping uh, today. Uh, he's seen the doctor and all that, and, and it, it, he just wouldn't be able to make it. Uh, he's uh, very dehydrated and, and weak, and hopefully what we can do is uh, get him back and, and get him ready. Georgia Southern next week. A lot of folks have been pointing to it. Now you can finally think about it. No doubt. Uh, our focus, I'll tell you right now, was on Western, period. And uh, since the game's over, we, uh, we heard about the scores. And, uh, you know, for us, I, I think opportunity uh, is there, but we're going to have to play a great game. Uh, you look at their football team, number one, you think of speed. Number two, you think of uh, great defense. And, uh, they have some guys that, that are tremendous players, and um, the, the crowd, I'm sure, that they're going to bring a huge crowd. So uh, I'm hoping that everybody in Spartanburg shows up and uh, cheers on the Terriers. It should be a great game. So with their victory today over Western Carolina, the Terriers up their Southern Conference record to five and one. They now go to seven and two overall, and a huge matchup is on the horizon next Saturday at Gibbs Stadium as they take on the Georgia Southern Eagles, who earlier today barely hung on to beat the Citadel and go to six and one in the league. Kickoff time from Gibbs Stadium will be one o'clock. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.